Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special, special guest in the house today. This brother here, we've been knowing each other for so long, for so many years. As the grown folks say, Niha, we've been knowing each other since then. Amen. From there down. You yeah, know what I'm right. saying? So it's another episode of Brother and Sister Podcast. I am Pug Flavor. My co host is Tressa Michener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Introducing my brother, Jeffrey Neal. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much, Brother Pug, and Brother yes. Miss yes. Tressa, for. Allow me to be in the place today. <laughs> Absolutely. Looking forward to being here with you guys. Great, great. And one of, one of the main topics that we want to get on today is mental health. We want to talk about mental health because there's so many people that grow, go through it. And there's so much that need to be talked about on that. I feel like it's not talked about enough. And we just want to we just want to get you up here to share your experiences with the, the mental health deal, man. So, so just tell us a little, a little bit about yourself and a little bit of what you went through. Okay. Well, as you said, first of all, let me again say thank you to both of you all. Brother to my right, my yes. sister to my left. We grew thank up. you, brother. I, I thank, thank you. you right knee high. We just started walking. <laughs> Didn't really know who each other was, but grew into the family. Right. So I thank God for this opportunity to be here with you tonight. But uh, my name is Jeff Neal. Um, they know me as Bali. We had yes. these nicknames growing up. Uh, right. Some of you may be listening, may remember me as Bali from Dunn Road. But, um, you know, I, I, as you stated, mental health is real. I do want to share my story with you guys tonight, my testimony. Um, it's, it's just amazing. You can be cra traveling along, going through life, and then all of a sudden you hit this roadblock, and that's kind of what happened to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, uh, growing up, I have family and friends that what I call experience anxiety, panic attacks, some depression, you know, things like that. But we never really paid a lot of attention to it. We thought it was a joke, if right. you want to know right. what's real. Because, you know, you we always grew up with that, uncle boy, get yourself right. <laughs> right. You, know, you, you, you know we don't yeah. deal with that. You, you're a man. Trying to be a tough guy, pretty right, much. Right, but. man. So, you know, here we are, uh, have family members dealing with stuff. But, you know, I go through life. I get married when I'm 20 years old, have a son some years later. And I'm cruising through life, man, as you may know, at the top of my game. Right. You know, I've yeah. got everything I want. I'm doing well in life. And all of a sudden, man, in 2015, it comes out of nowhere. Mm. You know, I'm cruising through life and um, working a lot. That was the main thing, just stressing, right. trying to, you know, maintain, as we say. Trying to get everything done. Trying to get it all done, brother. So. By trade, I'm a career firefighter. This year makes 33 years. Oh, man, that's awesome. That's yes. really awesome. Yeah, and then the, the other part, I'm a cowboy, man. Yeah. I'm a, a real now cowboy. We, we in the, we in the born <laughs> yes, right now. And the, and yeah. We got the horses. We're going to show y'all yes. a little later on. Yeah. I mean, it is. that's why I'm sweating. It's a little hot <laughs> yes. in here. But, uh, <laughs> this, look, we about that life, though. It's that country <laughs> yeah, that, life. It's that country life, and we love it. <laughs> that's we right. love every hey, You see the boots, the spurs. We even got them decked yeah. out. I, I look, yeah. I wait, Got my eyes out of clothes, hey, dust some things look, off, baby. And the young folks say, That's what's up. That's what's you know, up. <laughs> but, you know, the reason why I bring up the fire department and the cowboys because I'm just supposed to be tough, right? Right. Yeah, you right. know, being a cowboy, you know, you tough. Then I wear a badge every day. I'm supposed to be tough, but not realizing that I was getting ready to face a fight of my life. So right. I'm cruising through 2015, get into the fall. And all of a sudden, one day, man, you know, I have a son in college. I'm trying to maintain a marriage, trying to maintain the bills. And, yeah. and really, you know, in church, had one foot in, one out. You know, yeah. I'm going to be real yeah. about that. Mm -hmm. Trying to maintain on my own. And all of a sudden, man, I hit a brick wall. Mm. And that brick wall, brother, uh, this it started out as a physical thing. I thought I had salmonella. And... Um, and what less than two weeks, I'm down 23 pounds. When oh, you man. see me, you've all, you guys, yeah, I've right. never been a big yeah. guy. So I'm anorexic. That's what's on my paperwork. So the best way to describe it is all of a sudden, 
Superman has been slitting some kryptonite. Yeah. And yeah. we all know what that's like. Yeah. But I don't understand the kryptonite. I'm 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 watching myself fade away and there's nothing I can do to stop it. So, man, I'm just struggling. I'm underweight. I can't think. I can't eat. I can't sleep. All of a sudden now I'm worried about the man backing up in the yard, taking everything because I can't pay my bills. I'm worrying if my wife's going to leave me. I'm worrying about my son who's in college. And, man, Superman just is sliding slowly away. A lot of stress. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot of, stress. of stress, brother. So one night, man, my, my wife was uh, going to a birthday party of her late aunt's. And man, now listen, I did tell you I was a country boy, right? Right, right. So we got a lot of guns in the house, right? Because right. I hunt, you know, and I'm about that life, right? right? Yeah. Well, I'm sitting there, man, uh, literally on my knees praying, and the first thought came to me ever in my life to take my life. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously we're going to talk about yeah. God tonight. Yeah, right. That's right. Because I tell people, um, one of the things people need to understand about God, suicide, and mental health is that Satan attacks us when? When we at our what? Yeah, at our mm -hmm. weakest. Mm -hmm. So literally, I'm at my weakest. I'm at my lowest point. I'm on my knees praying to God, and Satan is telling me to take my life. Man. Now, I'll be honest, man, I'm, I'm, I'll just freak out. I jump up, and the thing that saved my life was that two weeks prior to this incident, um, a lady by the name of Annie Lewis that I went to church with, yeah. she called my mom, and she said, I don't know why, but I need you to make sure Jeff knows the voice of God. Right. Mm -hmm. My mom calls me. She says, I don't know what's going on. She said, I know what you're dealing with, but this lady wanted me to make sure that you knew God's voice. That's right. So, brother and sister, it's like I'm down here on my knees. I spring up because I know this is not God talking. I'm scared. I jump in my truck. I drive to my parents' house. Y'all know my parents. Yeah. And I just I said, hey, y'all got to put me away. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I knew it. That's tough. Yeah that's, yeah, that's really tough. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. And it's it's just uh, difficult just hearing it, knowing that we grew up together. And just like you said, you know, y'all always told the man up, you know, be the man, not, you know, be, you know, weak. Yeah. But sometimes that happens when life happens and stress happens and the things of life just come and bombard you. And that's what the enemy does is attack your mind. Right. And that's why, you know, the Bible says when we're weak, say we're strong. Right. Because sometimes you got to talk to yourself. You, you got to right. talk yourself out of your problems and out of your situation. Yeah. You got to be your own advocate to get sure. yourself up. Sure. So, like, daily, I'm my own advocate. And I understand that sometimes I got to get up and, and talk to Tressa. Right. And sometimes that's what God has us to do because he said when we're weak, say we're strong. Right. right. And every, right. everybody's different at the same time. So like when when the guys used to say, "Man, man up, man up," this right. and that, and you know, you never know what each person going, going through, through. Yeah. mentally, yes. physically. Yeah. I mean, so I learned that you know you got to handle your own. You can't listen. To, I learned in the world what everybody say ain't the truth. No. Right. No. no That's no. it. No. That's <laughs> you it. Got to, yeah. You got to do what works for you. What works yeah. for you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because everybody say this and that. Yo, man up, this man. Yeah. Stop it's it. not. It's not <laughs> that easy. Because here's the thing, Pug. I, I used to say to my my bro, one of my brothers, I'll right. leave it like that, uh -huh. hey, when he was dealing with anxiety, man up, man. man we, yeah. we we ain't built for that. We, we we those guys, but when it landed into this lab, right. it was a whole nother level. Yeah, right, so I right. tell my parents, I said, hey, put me away. Um, I just can't, I, I, I can't focus. I, 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 I don't trust me anymore. Yeah. So y'all know my dad, old school deacon. He says, tell my mom, let's go. They follow me back to my house. My wife is at a birthday party still. My dad comes in the house. He said, listen, that's the first thing we're going to do. We got to get these guns out of here. Right. So man, I put, uh, yeah. put all these guns yeah. mm -hmm. in this car, shut the door. And Pops, he, he, he's, come on back come in on. the house. Right. He told my mom to stay outside. Yeah. And um, he, yeah. Said, he just said a prayer. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, he said, we, we're not putting you anywhere. Right. We, 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 we're going to trust God. We, right. We're not, we're not putting you anywhere, son. You're going to be okay. Yeah. We, we're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to do that. And we're going to trust God. 
about this time my wife's coming in the house and he said I just you know this is what's going on but you, we can stay with you all tonight but you keep an eye on him and you know my wife stayed up and watched me cuz I didn't trust myself I right. didn't really know what was going to take place cuz that's my first real idolation of suicide and and I could have done it right. Right. but uh, 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 grace be to God weeks go on I'm, I'm on medication I'm going to counseling through the fire department and a personal uh, counselor and um, I never forget man my wife was working away from the house at that time and uh, she come in there she said look I, I need to go to work but are you gonna be okay and I said mm -hmm. I'm, I think so I watched her drive out of the driveway and I never forget I went into my son's room because it faced the front of the house and I watched her drive away and I said, Lord, if you heal my body, mm -hmm. heal my mind, mm -hmm. I'll give you everything mm -hmm. I got. And that's the best thing you did. And listen, I sur first of all, I said, I don't know what I've done. Right. I'm repenting of my sins. Yep. And again, now I am a deacon at this time. Right. But I'm, 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 I ain't the deacon I need to be. Right. Can we be real about mm -hmm. it? Right, right. And that was the deal that God and I made. So, here's the funny part. So, it was Christmas time now, and my son at the time he's dating this young lady, and I, I, I wanted to. My wife and I were going to get her a gift, a guitar from a guitar mm -hmm. center. So, mm -hmm. um that Christmas Eve they asked me to speak at church and I spoke never had a deacon spoke at church on a Sunday morning for right. normal service right. so this right. was God setting some stuff mm -hmm. up right setting it up so I go hoop. in man and I, I, I start speaking and all of a sudden I break out into my testimony like what I'm sharing here right and um Y'all know my cousin Junior Marshall right. Troublefield, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they call him Junior. Mm -hmm. His mama was Gloria and Ernestine. Mm -hmm. yep. right. Well, he's on the front row of the church, and he's I'm thinking he's taking a picture, mm -hmm. but cuz is videoing me. Mm -hmm. Now by this point, nobody knows what I'm going through. Right. I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. I don't want nobody to know. Right. So we're pulling in the guitar center, and all of a sudden, my wife says, "Your story is out." I look at her, it's like, no, nah, my, my right. story ain't. Not. <laughs> she said, right. no, nah. she said, you, you need to check your Facebook page because mm -hmm. your cousin just put your story out. Mm -hmm. And, bro, I start having an anxiety attack. Mm -hmm. Why? Because right. now everybody knows that what I went through. And and that wasn't for him to do. Right. But, right. It, but God had a plan, mm -hmm. right? He had a plan. So I kid y'all not, my phone is sitting on my console in the truck. And I'm I'm getting ready to call him. And let's can I be real for a yeah, second? Absolutely. I'm getting ready to cuss That's him what we out. Do, be real. Yeah, because I'm a 100 preacher, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh -huh. Again, I won't end the church like right. I was supposed to. So he was getting right. ready to get a good old cousin cussing. Right. <laughs> he was without ready my get... permission. Right, right, right. My phone, guys, is buzzing off the console, and I look down, and I I see some firefighters, and I'm like, here we go, it's starting. But it was a complete so turnaround. said. Just, just take a deep breath. Phone just coming up off the console, y'all. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, read the comments. Right. I read the comments, and the first one is one of my captains said, Jeff, I didn't realize what you went through. We know you went through something, but when you get done, I need you to tell me how you got through it. And I want to learn mm -hmm. about oh, this yes. God yes. that helped you yes. get through this. I heard that testimony. Yes. I, and, and listen, guys, for three hours the phone was just right. like mm -hmm. that right there people so in other words the moral of the story is i, I what i thought came to destroy right. me was setting me something up for a so, lot bigger and, and, and in other words way, it was kind of like like your miss turned to your message Ooh, good, right. bruh you better stop <laughs> he don't he don't know what's up dude <laughs> don't, don't, don't start know. nothing <laughs> <laughs> hey look what i thought came to destroy me gave me my message right, kind of right. like uh it, it gave me a purpose, it gave mm -hmm. you purpose. And, but yeah. i didn't know that at the time because yeah. this is still all being put together yep. so i go on from there and once again god reminded me of what i promised him right. so it leads me to a fire department ministry yeah as you see, my shirt says Riding for Christ, yes. which is the horse ministry, yes. right. and of course the church, Fresh Start yeah, Christian absolutely. Center. Yes. And the reason why awesome the name job. of the church is Fresh mm -hmm. Starts, because God gave me a fresh, fresh, fresh start. start. God, look, y'all about to take this mic. Yeah. When I get to talking <laughs> yeah. about I love God, it. I love it. man, I, I, and, and again, I, 
Mm. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to say one thing, Jeff, because you spoke something very powerful. You said when it fell in your lap. Mm. Because a lot of people don't understand when it falls in your lap. Everybody wants to say what they'll do and tell you what to do. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but when it falls in your lap, different. it's different. Yeah. But nobody can tell you what to do right. or how to do it right. when they're not going through right. it. But they'll try to tell you every angle and every path to take, but they ain't going through nothing and they trying to no. help you get through no. it. No. So it's, it's, it gets to be kind of of a struggle if you don't have a dependency on God because people will lead you the wrong the way. Wrong way. Yeah. And well, he said it earlier. What works for somebody else yes. is, is totally different. Yes. You know, some people can just take medication and be okay. Mm -hmm. For me, God is my medication. Right. right. We were, we were shy like that. We didn't not necessarily shy, but we didn't want people all in our business per right. se. Right. And then when that something like that happened, and then like I said, you expecting the worst. Like here we go. But like mm -hmm. I said, the mess turned to the message. Yes. And it just transformed totally into something else, and it just kept growing and growing Scroll, and growing yeah. into amazing yeah. pastor. Amazing. Well, 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 here, here, here's the thing. It this and she she can relate. Yeah. This ain't about us. Yeah, that's right. right. It, right. That's what right. God took us through, mm -hmm. as much as painful as it was, it, mm -hmm. it's not about us. It's so that. As I, she and I, we've talked about as ministers, mm -hmm. people don't want to keep reading about the Bible, bro. Right. They right. want to see the Bible. They want to see, they want to see, see what see God truth. can do. Right. And mm -hmm. here's the thing I always tell people, and I spoke about this when you came and did my podcast, yes. was that I had an audience too. Yes. Okay. Yes. People right. saw me go down 20 mm -hmm. some pounds. They knew I was suffering mentally. They knew. And look, the sad part was they were hoping that I would lose everything I had. I had right. some people, oh, we got him now. Yeah. But that, 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 you, you may think you got <laughs> me, you but, got but God's got me, bro. Yeah, <laughs> this, this, <laughs> ooh, this a whole nother setup. <laughs> right. what, what they say, this is a, a setback. For the comeback, set up. Hey, look, yeah, set back <laughs> for the comeback. Set up unexpected. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. But I, I want to yeah. say this too, man. Is that it, it, I want to break the stigma because to get to the moral of my story yeah. is I'm a true advocate for mental health. Yes, right. And I want to break the stigma, particularly with men yes. that grew up the way I did, particularly black men. Go get some help. Go go work. talk to the counselor. Get some medication. It's okay to not be okay. That's right. right. You know, as I tell people, just because you don't see me cry, don't mean I'm not crying. That's right. That's just right. because I wear it well, don't mean I'm wearing it well. Right. And that's where we got to get to is that we've got to open the door. And I thank God for you all because I have an artist and you have an audience. Yeah. And the more people we can get this out to. That's right. To one have this conversation mm -hmm. right. because how many right. times do you see three black people sitting here talking about right. mental health? Right. Okay. Right. Even in your struggles, you 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 have to admit yeah. there were some dark days. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. It Can was you very talk about dark. it? Yeah. I mean, it was very very dark. Um, I can't really say I had went through depression. I think I went through the depression state when I was home. Right. And uh, so I can't say I went through the depression, but it was when I was at home. Actually, I went through the deliverance mm -hmm. when I got gone, when right. I got put away. I got so it, it was a little bit different because actually when I got put away, it seemed like the peace came. Gotcha. Because I was in solitude and I had a chance to get my thoughts together right. and right. get my mind right. And by me not knowing nothing and picking up that Bible and reading that Bible, it just transformed my mind. Mm -hmm. It turned my, everything became spiritual now. I didn't see everything now as the natural. Physical, natural. Right. Yeah. Right. So it became spiritual because everything that happens in the spirit happens first before it even comes That's to right. the natural. That's right. And so I started realizing this body didn't mean anything right. because I had an experience where I was laying on my bed and God separated my body and I was like an eagle in the, right. in the ceiling and I was looking down at my body on the bed and it was lifeless. Yeah. And then the Lord just put my body back in with my in my physical state. So I then knew at that time, right. this right here means nothing. 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 It's all within. Everything yeah. you have within is the transformation that you need to do something with right. and work for with glory. for his glory. Yeah. So this body don't mean nothing. nothing. The things don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. It's good to have because we the children of God. Right. We his children right. and he blesses us. Yeah. But the real part of you, this outer fixture does not this, matter. It don't matter. 
It don't yeah. matter because what the Bible say, it all matter. All only thing that matters is what we do for Christ. Exactly. And, and right. I tell people what's what's got me sitting here in this chair. What drives me? Now let's be honest. We've all worked today, right? But yes. here we are down here doing something yes. for Christ. Right. Absolutely. And, that, and that's right. what drives me. But again, I always tell people, I made God a deal. Mm -hmm. But part of the thing I wanted to make sure people understand that. There's a lot of people hiding behind the sunglasses. Yeah. And there's a lot of people hiding behind the makeup. And I tell people, man, it's so many people that we know personally that are struggling right now. Right. Yes. And it, it's not right to suffer in silence. It is time to bring this to, to the forefront and Get talk help, about it. Talk about yeah. it. Go, but, go to somebody positive. Yes. Get around some positive, positive yes. energy. You yes. Know, and it, it's, it's a lot of stuff. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to okay. cut y'all. Pool. but it's a lot of stuff that go on in the black families where they say what goes on in the house stay in the oh, house no, no. that keeps you in right. bondage so right. bad we right. got to talk about these things and get to. rid of them yeah. yeah yeah well that was a thing and 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 not to to their defense mm -hmm. they didn't know no yeah man. of course right. because yeah. let, let, me, let me show you something mm -hmm. that i said last week to somebody you remember growing up we all had that cousin that friend or family that they kept in the back yeah mm -hmm. Now, now, cuz in the front, yeah, we right. can't hide that's him right. no more. Hide you know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody, look, all of us up there <laughs> yeah, got everybody. some stuff we're dealing that's with, right? right. And right. that's what mental health has done. I know what I'm going to say can confuse some people, but the one thing I'm thankful for that COVID did do, mm -hmm. it opened the door to talk about mental health. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because when when we went through COVID, that's when you had the people staying home more. They couldn't do some of the things. That's when the door was opened. We saw more mental health cases. And in the city where I work and even in the county, we're running more psychiatric mm -hmm. calls, more people, more children. And, guys, even the suicide rate is off the chart right now. Right, right. And, and there was a time that we thought this was just one race. Let's be real. We're going to leave it like that. Yeah. But that's not the case. That's right. Everybody that is struggling in life, and I want to tell people, keep check on your brother check yeah. on your sister yeah. you know if you know they're not the same uh they were as they were a few days ago hey it's it's okay to say hey what's up pug you what's good yeah you know and what's, and, and, what's and even with say? uh that situation that you're saying jeff about checking on people or well, not situation but just checking on people you know pug talked about on one of our shows that he suffered you know depression mm -hmm. and it's right. something i didn't know and we talk every day right you right. know but he hit it well like yeah, he, he did. It. Like yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. right. That's right. And it was just, um, you know, I was like, you know, how I didn't know this because I, when I talked to him, I can tell when something's wrong. Right. Right. So I mean, I guess he went through this this day and just really tried to really cover it. Well, like right. I said, and it's when you when when that captures you or get in you, it's almost like I said it earlier. It's almost like something getting in your body and you ain't really got no control. No over control, it. bro. You it's like no what control. in the world is? Yeah. What, why do I feel like this? Why yeah. am I going through this? Why am I thinking like this? Why? And like I said, it's almost like you step outside your body and you're yeah. asking yourself, you're talking to yourself, and it's yeah. like, who is in there, man? Right. We got to go. And like I said, you wake up the next morning and it, it could be just totally gone. That's right. It's like that's you right. hit the reset button and like, man. Yeah. It's, well, it's that's through. basically what it is. It's what you just said. Reset. Our bodies, our minds are like computers. Mm -hmm. right. Sometimes, you know, first thing they tell you, my phone acting up, what they tell you to do? Yeah. Turn Power it off. It off. Turn Power it, it off. Turn it, it back yeah. on. But, yeah. you know, my wife says something that made sense. She said, I wish our brains had a switch yeah. that we right. could turn on and off. But yeah. unfortunately, they don't. And the thing about life, like you were talking about the old days, mm -hmm. the more we carry around, I always tell people pain must be addressed. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can deal, You can address it in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. But either way, it's going to be addressed. It's going right. to come to the front. It, it's coming out, <laughs> brother, and you got to deal with it because what tends to happen with mental health is that once that ball starts to open and that door is opening, right. everything else starts to follow. That's right. right. So, but what, yeah. Well, Jeff. Pastor Jeff. No, hey, I I'm am. just Jeff. You know. I tell people, I, I want the anointing, sis. I don't need that title. Get, just give well, me the uh, we want, anointing. We want to let everybody know you, Pastor Jeff, because we want everybody to, you know, at least try coming to Fresh Start once or twice. You can come having a very amazing experience there. I've been there, go there all the time. You preach there. Uh, yep, yeah. preach there. Um, so, Jeff, I want you to share the good side now with being a pastor and running this uh, church you have with Fresh start and you know this is a church like it's no tradition <laughs> yeah right. it's not no judgmental no it's That's not the, yeah so it's much. yeah <laughs> it's not the everyday uh routine every week type thing is whatever god leads 
um, him to do yeah. and who God leaves for him to put on his platform or to speak to his people because mm-hmm. you're not going to just come in and speak or think you're just going <laughs> to say Pastor Jeff I can preach and you're going right, to be on no. his platform you, you got to be prayed on right. first right. you got to show me you right. <laughs> so right. tell yeah. us about it Pastor well as you stated um, I'm the senior pastor and the founder of Fresh Start and um, you know I wanted a place where everybody's welcome you know where a friend if you don't have a friend you can find a friend you know if, if you're looking for something different it's di- and it's different y'all know I preach in cowboy yes. hat boots jeans yes. because you know I come from a Pentecostal background where you had to have the three piece suit on oh, yeah. it had to be done like this that and the other and people today you all know mm-hmm. they're not about that people, people just want to come hear about the word they don't want all this uh stuff that comes with it so we're a non-denomination yep. church multicultural as mm-hmm. you know we yep. have all races there yep. um i just all love races. god yeah, yeah i love god uh but the name of the church as it, it says it all fresh start. fresh start i want people to have a fresh start i want people to come as they are get the word and go home you know it's it's uh i tell people we have a saying it's this is no ordinary worship yet we minister to ordinary people that's right and we meet people where they are and we try to give them something either they haven't had an experience before or we try to nurture them and get them back to a place where they can either come back to god or let me help introduce you absolutely to god. so fresh starts just a real simple church right. um and you ain't got to be there all day long no, oh no you get no. that word in there <laughs> you that fool that stomach up, right. you yeah to go and we out hey, yes. i tell I people it. man yeah. we try to have you out of there in about 45 yeah. minutes yeah. keyword bro try, yeah. try. Yeah. Now, when, the, when the lord's up right. in there yeah. you yeah. might get he, he gonna do what he do that's, that's right. it that's, that's it right. but no man it's a simple place um, great people, man. Everybody loves everybody. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, October 7th, please come out. Join us. We'll be celebrating four years uh, mm-hmm. in the ministry and awesome, the awesome. church. So God is doing some amazing things, man. We're right. touching people. And as I tell people, don't come see Jeff. Come see God. Because if you come see God, you get a chance to see God work through right. Jeff. It's, right. As she'll state, right. it's not about us. Absolutely. Right. You know, I tell anybody, man, I'm not that preacher where you got to be walking around carrying my bags. <laughs> nah, <laughs> right. bro, I clean. At your <laughs> uncle's a deacon yeah, at my church. My, I, I, my ma, <laughs> I vacuum. I, you walk in there, I'm doing it all. I set it up, take it yeah. down. We just simple, man. Did, 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 man, did, go to the store and give me some cheese. Right. <laughs> 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 what, what give me some thing, cake. Yeah. The thing yeah. I like about it, Jeff, it's because if you and your wife, if we wouldn't know you and your wife, we wouldn't know that she is your wife or first lady, mm-hmm. if they right. say, yeah, and we wouldn't know you like the pastor. Yeah, yeah, she don't even like yeah. that. And <laughs> she just ordinary yeah. around yeah. The, uh, the church, you mm-hmm. know, being helpful, just very inviting. I yeah. mean, she's very inviting to everybody yes. that come. And yeah. you, the reason why I like Fresh Start so much is because I know for a fact if God saved me in a jail cell, baptized mm. me in the mm. Holy Ghost with no preacher there, yeah, with jail uniform on, flip yeah. flops, cornrows, Come on now. that you can have a fresh start anywhere. Ooh, yeah, anywhere. So he fresh brought that start. fresh Look, start. Get your sister, man. <laughs> yeah. She always, we get together, she always trying to start something. No, man, I got a stage here now. I can shop. <laughs> That's right. So that fresh start, that, that means a lot to me. And I try to support this ministry as much as yes. I can because this ministry is truly what God is saying come on in you yeah. welcome here yes. you ain't being judged you ain't no. being criticized you're not you know doing this to make your uh make yourself look lord and a pastor no. he appreciates every single yes. person that comes into right. this church and come and as you just, are yes, yes. well and, can i tell you mm-hmm. one of the main yeah. things we got to go back to 15. Yeah. i tell people i was humbled yeah. to be humble yeah right. and and i ain't always been humble yeah right. but when god got done with me I realize I'm just like everybody right. else. And that I want to treat people the way they want to be treated. And and yeah. another thing about this ministry, I'm, st- I'm sorry, Jeff. No, 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 no. But another you know thing, I just, got to say, thing. I just got to talk about this ministry because it's so important and so powerful. Just like Jeff said, it's non-denomination. Mm-hmm. The church is always full. Um, it's always being viewed on Facebook um, all the time. Uh, tell us how you got so many members, Jeff, in four years. <laughs> well... I, I'll be honest with you. I really don't know how many people yeah. people ask me all the time. You know, I will tell you, this is God because one, I'm a cowboy, mm-hmm. so I'm the chaplain for the East Coast Trail Ride and Circuit, the la- largest black 
trail riding association up and down the east coast oh man that's so uh, i'm exposed to all these people yeah. and then i'm off uh five, speaking five of the five horses five. angel i'm gonna cut you off <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to see oh, yeah, you gonna see dream horses. over there yes. yeah he he's a part of, that's actually minister dream he right. he helps minister <laughs> you know we um he he comes along but then i'm a firefighter i'm in public safety yeah. so all of these people god saw that hey i have this connection with these people yeah. right. and these people were looking for something different right so that's pretty much it god brought this combination of people together so and they trust me they believe my they believe in me they trust what god is doing they see the authenticity right. they see that hey he's just real i'm just mm -hmm. i'm just a country boy they, I, look they i'm believe not educated that god has seen you yes I'm yeah. just, I, what you see is what you get yeah. i told the people when i pass make sure you put the realest mm -hmm. preacher right. that's right on the cast that's, that's, right. that's who i am you know i don't try to correct my words mm -hmm. i went to his way high right. school right. Yeah. hey man hey listen yeah. i don't knock education but i'm just a I'm an old country boy. As the song say, I made it. I can't, I ask God sometimes, you sure you got the right dude? <laughs> right. <laughs> but hey, when God puts his anointing on you, man, yeah. you won't even understand That's it. That's right. So, you won't right. never understand it. No. You won't understand the decision making. No. You won't understand. You'll be thinking, well, why that person making that decision? Right. is Because you're hearing the voice of God. That's you it. walking on a whole nother path. Yes. You, you walking in an upward direction when everything is coming, coming down. down. Right. So you you going up against the force. Right. So you go, you automatically going to be at a different level right. of decision making That's because right. you're going up against it That's right. and everything else is driving Coming its forces down, down at you yeah. so yeah. it's always going to be different so that's why we always encourage people one thing to do also is to be delivered from people oh goodness gracious yeah you well in ministry I, you you know I, I never want to say i don't care yeah of okay? course the bible says yeah. that we should care about yeah. what other people think but right. The Bible also says it's better to obey God the than man. to obey man. Yep. So with that being said, I do have to block out people mm -hmm. that one don't believe. Right. You know, right. I, I, right. I'm follow. I look. I'm starting to follow Deion Sanders. I don't even. I don't <laughs> right. even watch football. <laughs> right. I don't. I'm not right. a sports fan. Cool but it. the <laughs> thing I love about him is that he too is following the voice mm -hmm. of God. That's he ain't his message. Yeah, he's not, he's a not ashamed. Right. And that's right. what. Look, I tell anybody. Don't give me a mic. Mm -hmm. Don't give me five minutes because we're going to talk about God. That's right. right. But you, it's all how, I'm, how I've made it to where I am today right. is, is God. I yeah. mean, it's it's nothing because, yeah. I listen, I don't even understand yeah. how I got, I got here. It. I don't understand yeah. what I'm doing and, week And week. I'm, I'm going to say this, Jeff. You don't need no mic because you know when I call you on lunch break, I be getting hey, that late. Let, <laughs> hey, let me tell you. But, but listen, let, let's be real. <laughs> Have you talks. ever tasted or done anything that made you feel like this? I have not. And I don't no, want it. Not. Don't even introduce yeah. it to me because, right. listen, it's CVS ain't got this. That's right. right. I'm yeah, just yeah. being real, man. Ain't this is. Ain't nothing behind that counter. No, this this, <laughs> this right. is. I, I'm like, I, I said to my dad, I did say this. I said, Pops, why didn't God do this 20 years ago? He said, good boy, you on ready for That's right. it. He said, you done messed it all up. I like, mm -hmm. man, I missed on feeling like this and experiencing God's goodness all these years. He said, well, part of that's your fault because you said you had one foot in <laughs> right. and one foot out. <laughs> That's right. But the way I feel now, it's like, and you can relate to this, it's like I've been touched again. Yep. Can you relate? Yeah, at 100%. 100%. And, and, and what, what did he tell the blind man? He said, mm. He touched his eyes. Mm -hmm. He said, mm, I, I can't really see. He said, let me touch you one more time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, good gracious. Now, yeah. woo. See clearly now. Man, uh -huh. I, the song say, bro, I can see clearly. So listen, guy, I'm tell you, don't you about to take this mic. All right, we're going to have to cut it down, <laughs> well, though, because I got a lot of it. editing in yes. there now. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. so, but no, I love God, man. Yeah. Yes, yes, And indeed. we got we got to see these horses. But this is why, like you saying, you know, uh, about the blind, and then the blind was able to see. Mm hmm you know, uh, because um, I've been in the media the whole time and the forefront of a lot of things, but Pug actually was the one of the that was the visionary for brother and sister. Okay. So people think it's me, <laughs> but, but it was actually him. And right. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He used to always come to me. I'm talking about all the time, daily, saying I keep having these interviews. Right. I keep having these interviews, and we couldn't figure it out. So I'm still, you know, like Pug just pray about it. Right. Years and years and years <laughs> yeah. ago. So one day when we finally were setting up the podcast and we got this amazing team backing us mm -hmm. with this podcast, um, it hit us when we did the interview. 
And when he right. did the interview, I said, oh, my God, That's Pug. What talking about. This is what it was. <laughs> this is what you was talking about. Wow. This is what uh, God was, was telling crazy. you to help the world with. Yes. This is what we're yeah. supposed to do. And gave him the ability and the talent to, right. to yes. do it. But now let's let's yes. not leave out. Out of all of us, he was the shyest, quietest <laughs> one. Yes, yes, yes. I, yeah. I was the trouble. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I was all over the place. Yeah. So he, it's amazing. Yeah. But God it's don't use the people that people think, think. he going to use. Right, right. You know, he, and here's that my favorite line God don't call to qualify bro that's right, that's right. he qualified no. those that he called that's right that so whoo man that it's a blessing man but mm -hmm. I, I appreciate it because you are you're reaching people man even with Pug TV the yeah. Pug Flavor hey man yeah. it's some people out there that need to hear from the brothers yeah. and sisters man. Yeah. right so definitely so another episode of Brothers and Sisters Podcast our brother Jeff Neal as we call him Bali yes, like sir. you said we've been yeah. knowing each other for so so many yeah. years and yeah. It's an honor and a privilege to have you up here, my brother. And like I said, we're coming to see you on church Sunday. Yes. Amen. And um, we so we wish there. you all the, the best of life, you know. Thank so. you. Thank you. God bless you, man. Again, and thank, thank you for both. inviting us. Yes. Oh, yeah. listen. This. Well, look, this yeah. is just the old barn. Yeah, I kind of warned y'all that there's some, some mosquitoes I, down I here. I was looking for my cowboy head. I couldn't find it. <laughs> man, I, I got to ask you in the church. I that thing. <laughs> Come on, How y'all doing? I'm getting my little straw hanging out my mouth. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, man. But I appreciate y'all coming down and spending some time with us. Absolutely. I hope my story will help someone open open up and have this uncomfortable <laughs> right. conversation yes. about right. mental health because yes. guess what guys it is real it's yes. real it's real another yes. brother and sister podcast we love y'all peace and we out